The homes in this video are unlike any homes you will have ever seen. Because these homes are tucked away and arguably all for the better. These are the most unbelievable hidden homes. Number 20. Cliff Retreat Design Concept by Alex Hogriff For the moment, this design is still only a concept. This imagined retreat takes advantage of the remote landscape feature of the cliff edge by slicing into the rock with great slabs of gray concrete to create a home that's just out of the cliff face. The whole concept is all about lighting, texture, and creating a specific atmosphere. The general idea is to produce a place that feels removed from everything to embody that sense of it being a true retreat. Well, hanging off the edge of a cliff is definitely removed from society, but just just how relaxing it might feel in, say, a huge storm in the depths of winter, who can really say? The concept is cool, though, if you like that kind of brutalist concrete slab aesthetic. And with an interior which is a cross between a multi-story car park and a minimalist office, what could ever go wrong? At least the full height glazing with balconies that face towards the ocean, the space feels bright and open. As for the rest of the contemporary design, there are the usual things that you'd hope for in a dwelling. Bedrooms, communal spaces with comfortable but stylish furniture, and a kitchen, as well as even a garden. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. These two images show something incredible, one of the best hidden homes we've ever seen. The actual home is an underground bunker, and as you can see, this cube-shaped bush is actually a secret entrance to that bunker. Isn't it incredible? The woman you can see in the photo on the right doesn't only live in the home, but she designed it herself. She did so because she was desperate to live in a peaceful, lonely life, not bothered by her neighbors. Well, I think she succeeded. Would you live in a home like this, or do you enjoy company too much? As always, comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Dutch Mountain Huzain, The Netherlands this unusual building is half buried in the ground. Only two sides are exposed as the rest is entombed in the hillside. It sounds a bit gloomy, but in reality, it's remarkably bright. The huge windows that essentially replace the walls on the two remaining sides of the structure flood the interior with light. And to be honest, the idea that this is a mountain home is more than a little far-fetched. This is the Netherlands, one of the most famously flat countries on the planet. The fact that the architects have even managed to find a bumpy enough piece of land to bury this house in a hill is akin to a miracle. However, this house is designed to minimize its ecological footprint, as is fashionable to say at the moment, hence why it's tucked away into the landscape, to keep it snugly warm as well as hide it from view from the north side. The frame of the building was made from lark wood, which was gathered from the forest immediately surrounding the site, and there's a large concrete retaining wall which has been left deliberately unfinished, in that present-day industrial fashion, no doubt. Then there are all those modern conveniences and sustainable energy use stuff that contemporary designed homes are all crammed with, and you wouldn't want that planning permission people to give you a ticking off now, would you? Number 18. Juniper House, Gotland, Sweden. The Juniper House in Sweden's Gotland is taking blending into its surroundings to the extreme. The home has been built within an area which is full of juniper trees, and rather than plop a house down in the middle of such a spot and hope for the best, the designers have decided to perform an experiment instead. The Juniper House is like that of a mirror in its surroundings. It's been swathed in a printed fabric shield that's covered with images of the same trees that surround the structure. You know, a bit like when a famous building is 
under construction, and so the local authority covers the unsightly scaffolding with a printed cover to show what's underneath. It's a bit of a bummer going to visit one of the great architectural buildings of the world and then discovering that you just get to see a picture of it attached to the outside of the structure itself. But in this instance, it's probably a good idea. As well as shielding the structure from the outside, the cloak also has an impact on the inside. The experience inside the house is that of being enveloped by the trees outside. The general idea is that this home can be opened up to join the outdoors and the indoors, a beautiful way to experience the very long days of summer in this part of the world. Number 17. Casa Bahia Azul, Los Vilos, Chile Ah yes, nothing says home quite like a stark and soulless concrete block that looks as though it's been abandoned, and it's all in Spanish too. Oh, lovely. It appears as though another concrete enthusiast of an architect has decided to go all out with their favorite building material and craft a whole house out of the stuff. They claim that the building is somehow designed to blend in with its surroundings, but the angular lines and boxy shapes aren't quite in keeping with the natural forms and curvaceous rocks that surround this beach-based building. Ah well, you can't win them all, but this one is not really doing a brilliant job at hiding anyways, now is it? Number 16. Spiral House, London, UK the idea behind this single-story dwelling is that it wouldn't have any impact on the surrounding buildings and would nestle into the existing environment without causing any change to the existing visual landscape. The creation of an architect by the name of Jack Woolley, the spiral house is quiet and unassuming in the South London area, which is built on a garden plot and sits largely concealed behind a wall. It's not exactly a building that'll stop traffic, but that is kind of the point of it all, really. You could easily pass by this house and not even know that it's there, so hidden it is behind a brick wall. Despite the fact that it's called the Spiral House, it does not have any grand spiral features that are visible on the outside. In fact, the spiraling is simply the plan to which the internal walls have been built and is hardly in evidence at all. The main thing that this house achieves is really to convince you that it doesn't exist. Number 15. Concrete Hideaway, New South Wales, Australia when architects were tasked with drawing up plans for this home in Barrie, New South Wales, Australia, they were requested to design an airy pavilion that would be a private retreat from the nearby busy road, as well as making the most of all the views that were available. So from the street, this looks like nothing much at all, a big concrete wall with a door and that's it. But from the other side, it's a whole new world. Built from lengths of timber, the longhouse takes full advantage of the sun's northern position and opens up into a courtyard area that's complete with swimming pool and views across the bush and mountain landscape. The main aim was to produce a beautiful home that takes full advantage of the natural environment but remains all but completely invisible from the road and approach to the property. It definitely does surprise with its change from severe concrete monolith to idyllic light dappled wooden hideaway behind that facade. Number 14. L4 House, Costa Esmeralda, Argentina. Set within lush coastal landscape, the L4 House is slightly naffly named concrete box that blots the otherwise extraordinary scenery of the Costa Esmeralda in Argentina. A so-called sculpture of concrete and glass, the L4 sits within the forest of this beauty spot. Now is it just me, or are there rather a lot of these architectural wonders that are just super ugly concrete boxes with more in common with a car park than that of a beautiful landscape? Escape in which they so rudely sit? By all means, disagree with me if you like this sort of thing. Let's have a meaningful discussion about it all in the comments below. For now though, we should look at some of the features of this structure. It is, of course, a luxury holiday home. How else could they justify its exorbitant price tag? It enjoys fabulous sea views and a remote private location because, really, who wants all the riffraff peering into your million pound mansion? That's what all that money's for, after all, to build a bloody great big wall between yourself and all the rabble. As long as you get a good sea view, the building itself has been formed inside to make concrete 
concrete furniture. Well, that sounds comfy, I must say. Really, the gimmicks are just relentless now, aren't they? Does anyone really want to perch on a concrete couch or hang their designer suit in a concrete cupboard? Aren't they taking all that utilitarian stuff just a bit too far? It's all kind of like Alcatraz in a way. Number 13. Mirage House, Tinos Island, Greece this crazy design is built into the side of a cliff and incorporates a gigantic infinity pool as its roof. Yes, the whole entire roof is a massive infinity pool that melts away into the sea view that stretches out in front of the house. This epic design is intended to create the right balance between being a private and peaceful home, which made the most of its extraordinary location. Interestingly, these architects were extremely keen to cause as little disruption to the natural landscape landscape as possible to find a way to make the building disappear into its surroundings. This seems to be a completely opposite philosophy to some of the other architects that we've seen on our list so far. The extraordinary design takes its name from the visual effect of a mirage, which is essentially what the infinity pool roof achieves as it melds the whole thing into its surroundings and makes it appear as if the building's not even there at all. Number 12. Beckham Creek Cave Lodge Nestled deep within the Ozarks, there's a house, well, a vacation rental, that's part of a cave but mostly luxury designer holiday let. Built into the existing cave structure that overlooks the valley, the Beckham Creek Cave Lodge is a unique kind of structure that's literally made out of a cave. Obviously. I mean, why the heck not, really? Honestly though, what is it with all of those novelty house nonsense? By all means, go and hang out in a cave or whatever, but why do humans have to colonize everything all the time? Depending on how you look at it, this could be considered an improvement, but what is wrong with leaving the caves the heck alone and staying in a regular dwelling? Sure, it's novel, but doesn't it just put a piece of the natural world into the same boring category as all the other fancy schmancy hotel interiors everywhere else? Well, who am I to judge? All this architecture business is a bit much, to be honest. Just to own any kind of home is a wonderful privilege, and all the rest is simply gift wrap. And if you do decide that sleeping in a luxury cave that is neither damp nor cold or even remotely uncomfortable, you know, like caves would be under normal circumstances, then go ahead. You can book a stay for the price, of course. Just mind your head on all that pointy rock. Number 11. McKinney, Texas Barn Home. Let's say you need a sizable but unassuming building to house yourself, or your airplane, or your hobbies. Well then look no further. There's a company in northern Texas that'll build you a gigantic barn that looks kind of boring from the outside, but is apparently only limited by your imagination on the inside. Yes, people are building these big barn structures all over the show for their various needs and requirements. One such requirement was apparently the not at all creepy animal head collector's hobby space. If there was ever a reason to run away, it's that room that's full of staring dead-eyed animal heads. So run, run while you still can. That's the thing with these barn buildings. You kind of can't see what's going on on the inside on account of the lack of windows. They do look like barns, albeit shiny new ones with distinctly creepy sensations of some kind of secret hobby taking place within. But if you have a massive collection of cars or maybe you really need a bowling alley in your house, then the scale of these buildings is very Texan. And that's saying something. You think things are bigger in the USA? Well, in Texas, they take that idea to a whole new level. Just look at all the stuff people have crammed into these barns. The mind simply boggles. Number 10. Acrafjordan Mountain Cabin well now, this one's more like it. It really is a hidden home if I ever saw one. The tiny hunting lodge is located beside a lake in a lonely and untouched place in western Norway. This mountainous area is wild and the landscape is rugged, so the little lodge really needs to blend in seamlessly or it would still stick out like a sore thumb. And nobody wants a sore thumb spoiling their epic views of the fjords, now do they? A major consideration in the conception of this piece of architecture was the way that it would be integrated into its surroundings. The terrain around it is 
characterized by rock and grass, as well as wild heather and curved organic irregular forms. So this was all of great importance to the architects, and the result is a structure which is almost invisible from many angles, and a pleasure to behold when it's seen. The shape of the hut reflects the natural curves of the landscape, and it's made from the same stone that's found all around the area and has a sloped, grassy roof that helps it blend into the background without making a song and dance about its presence, or indeed needing to make some sort of abstract statement about the architect's vision. It is a functional but still beautiful building, which sits perfectly within the place that it was designed to be. And that horse hasn't even noticed that it's there. Number 9. Villa Vals by Search and CMA From one hidden home to another, and they really are remarkably different, aren't they? This one seems to give a nod to the shapes and structures of the 1960s, all with a little bit of nuclear bunker vibe. The front of the property is where most of the natural light comes from, since the shape of the building involves an awful lot of it being tucked into the hillside. But it doesn't seem dark or gloomy, because the circular frontage, while kind of concrete-y and not terribly beautiful, does seem to be designed to maximize the light that's available inside. So that's a relief then. The bunker vibe lessens slightly. It is located in the Swiss thermal spa town of Vals, which is much of the appeal of the place and what drew the architect there in the first place. An opportunity to build a home near these celebrated thermal baths is something that was apparently too good of an opportunity to turn down. So that's when they decided to build into the side of the hill, rather than on top of it in the most traditional of manners. What do you think about this particular building? Do you like the underground layer stylings of it, or would you feel too much like a mole hiding out in the ground? Tell me all your thoughts in the comments below. Number 8. Edgeland House Bercy Chin Studio now honestly, a lot of these houses are kind of cool, but the architectural descriptions of them are so very inaccessible that it can be really off-putting. Why does a building that is beneficial to both nature and humans need to be made to sound like something so alien? Don't we all live in houses? Or at least, we should be able to. And are we not all able to appreciate the qualities of a home that sits within its environment in a pleasing way? So then, why in the world are we being told about stuff being denatured and tuned to the specificity of a place? It's enough to send most of us running for the hills, but that might be the point. These houses are not for the likes of thee and thine and me and we, the great unwashed. We're not invited to the future of housing. We shall be living in miniature boxes that are stacked atop one another in overpopulated cities, sharing a postage stamp piece of grass with 400 other poor sods. Anyways, I digress. Here is another beautiful example of a home that's built into nature without the need to forego any of the modern luxuries or conveniences that one is accustomed to. In fact, there is no doubt somewhere to park one's Range Rover as well, and it even has a grassy roof. Roof. Number 7. Montezuma Canyon House Now if you want to live in the side of a mountain, then simply blast a hole in one and pop your house right in. At least that's how the man behind the Utah Cliff House did it. I'm sure nobody would mind if we all just started blowing caverns into cliff faces, because that seems perfectly fine and a most reasonable way to create housing. Nothing to see here. Built into the rock itself, this home is tucked into the mountain and kind of blends in with its color and tone. But the fact that they had to blast that hole, well that's all a bit less of a working within the existing landscape approach than some of the other properties that we've seen. This one really was rather crowbarred in. Now that doesn't mean that it's not kind of cool though. The Utah home is equipped, as you would expect, with all those modern pieces of guff that real estate agents just love to bang on about, as well as a genuine archaeological site all around the house. The grounds are full of ancient artifacts from the people who lived in the area over a thousand years ago, so that adds a whole new dimension to pottering in the garden anyways. What do you make of this home? Do you fancy a Flintstones-esque home that's chiseled from the rock face, or is this a step too far? That pun probably was as well, to be honest. Number 6. Falling Water House 
Moving swiftly on, we now find ourselves in Mill Run, Pennsylvania, where beloved 20th century American architect Frank Lloyd Wright designed a most beautiful and unique home that was complete with a waterfall. Falling Water is a property that sits deep within the Bear Run Nature Reserve in the Appalachian Mountains. All the usual architecty language has been applied to this place, and it makes claims to have redefined the relationship between man, architecture, and nature. Well, yes, of course, but it is still a house, right? It was built in 1935 and certainly broke new ground in the idea of where homes might be positioned and what kind of features they might incorporate. But it is not as if it triggered a runaway trend for building houses atop waterfalls, which is probably a blessing, really. That would definitely have cluttered up the world's beauty spots somewhat, now wouldn't it? But there you go. If money was no object and you knew a famous architect in the 1930s, it was possible to buy a piece of a national park and just plop a modernist architecture on top of a waterfall without too much kerfuffle. They were more simple times times back then, you know. Number 5. Jungle House, Sao Paulo How are you doing out there? Are you still into all these hidden homes? How about one that's in the rainforest of Brazil? Now, yes, if you have the finances, you can actually build a home in the rainforest. These people have built a luxury, no expense spared, all modern stuff included sort of house in the lush green plant-like of the Amazonian rainforest. Lucky them! The house has been positioned in such a way as to avoid being too obvious, or indeed giving the hoi polloi any windows for peeping in. This is an exclusive residence for fancy people after all. The architects behind the construction claim that the building is designed to optimize the connection between architecture and nature, but that seems like a bit of a clattering contradiction in all honesty. Why not just admit that you want to build a house in the rainforest because that's where the rich people have decided that they want to live. The end. It has more than a regular fair share of views, taking in the sea, the mountains, and the rainforest all around. So that's nice now, isn't it? And it does remain kind of hidden, depending about how you look at it. Number 4. Vivos Doomsday Shelters Ah yes, the ultimate hidden home is indeed an underground bunker. These are no ordinary backyard fallout shelters, though. These are state-of-the-art underground facilities which can house between 80 and 1,000 people for up to a year in what they claim is luxury on par with a high-end hotel. Oh, how great! Yes, if you are a paranoid individual with deep pockets and a pessimistic outlook for the future, you can commission this California-based company to build you a gigantic underground bunker and furnish it like all your other houses home cinemas and restaurant-grade kitchens included. All you have to do is decide who exactly you would want to be locked underground with at the end of the world. It's a tricky decision indeed. Number 3. The World's Skinniest House Well, when it's nothing more than a flipping corridor. For Pete's sake, this may be one of the most daft so-called houses yet, and it's a worry that it might start giving real estate people bad ideas. Frankly, we don't need any more scumbag landlords with unscrupulous ideas in the world. This is what's believed to be the most narrow house in the world. Designed by Polish architect Jakub Zinzi, this alleyway conversion boggles the mind. It measures a feeble 122 centimeters at its widest point. That's just a pathetic 48 inches. The pokey little excuse for a dwelling is named the Corette House, and it's located in the center of Warsaw, apparently to provide a temporary home for riders as they travel through. So at least that's a blessing, because it's tantamount to human rights violations to keep a human being in such confined conditions. Even prison cells have more generous proportions, and likely better regulations. Well, the project is meant to be a temporary construction 
construction but has instantly become a landmark in the Polish city, looking as though it's set to become a permanent feature. Although the designers do admit that people can only stay there for a very brief interlude, and they say that visitors need a sense of humor to live and work there. They probably also need to have no fear of enclosed spaces and a relatively diminutive stature, or else this could end up a sticky situation. And don't even try to think about inviting an adult friend for a sleepover. Number 2. Mountaintop Mansion when this ordinary skyscraper apartment building in Beijing, China began to have a slew of problems, cracks opening up in people's homes and leaks springing up out of nowhere, it became necessary to investigate what was causing the issues. And what they found was a massive surprise, and in fact, it blew people's minds. Satellite images that were captured of the rooftop would reveal that there was an entire fake mountaintop that was perched up there. Much to everyone's surprise, the penthouse owner had built a whole outside haven atop the apartment building. Drone footage showed the true extent of the additions that he had made, and they included a big rocky mountaintop and gardens that were so elaborate that the building beneath was literally collapsing under all that extra weight. My question is, how on earth do you smuggle all that stuff up there without anyone wondering what you were up to sooner? This one is genuinely amazing. Number 1. Gary Neville's underground eco-home blends into the earth. Although this house is yet to be realized, it has caused almost 10 years worth of kerfuffle in the British media. When ex-footballer Gary Neville proposed plans to build an unconventional flower-shaped eco-home that would sit buried in the ground and make use of all that state-of-the-art eco-friendly house-building stuff that was available. So what's the actual problem? Well, generally, if anybody famous does anything that's slightly out of the ordinary, or indeed something kind of boring, the tabloids will hound them until they give up and collapse in a heap. It turns out that the plans for this proposed 8 million pound home were not up to scratch for either the UK newspapers or indeed the local population. The people living in the general proximity of the planned building are obviously all suffering from nimbyism, that is, not in my backyard-ism. Which basically means that they're all in favor of these advances in ecological building, or things like wind turbines and such, as long as they're not required to look at them. Hypocrisy is another word for it. Anyways, I shall relinquish my soapbox for a brief moment. This proposed home is still unbuilt, and Gary Neville has since put the land on the market for a reduced price of a half a million pounds. And that's just for the land itself. While it seems as though blending your house into the environment is a bit of a hit or miss sort of affair, and concrete just seems an oddly popular choice of building material for the job. Perhaps this would be best if you were trying to camouflage your house beside a multi-story car park? But who the heck am I to say? I live in a pokey little tumble-down house in the back of the beyond but it's definitely visible from all sides, and Google Earth as well. Would you like to live in a hidden home? Have you got any good ideas how to hide one? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.